Hey there guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Let me review a fragrance from House of Fekonabo. I think that's the name. I reviewed a couple of other fragrances from this house before. I'll leave the link below, you can check. But this house I uh, not really talked about much. Uh, doesn't have that many reviews, but you know, these are on the budget side. Sometimes I do get some fragrance, I feel there's no review. I'd like to create content, maybe I'll get some views. Some people look at this house, they get some business, they're happy, everybody happy, you know. So this is the fragrance, it's called Fekonabo. Faconable, Faconable, uh, Le Original, I think La Original or Le Original. This is the fragrance. It's a new fragrance they brought in Sandara recent times in Best in, not Best in Brands, yeah, Best in Brands, yeah. So they brought this and I was like, I bought some of the fragrances from some of the houses. I did review them, uh, but this was one fragrance I did not like at first. When I sprayed, I was like, mm, green, oak moss, barber shop. Uh, not really barbershop to say precisely, but it's kind of a green herbaceous herbal fragrance and it's a very different fragrance and you know, it's like enjoyable perfume if you get the concept. So I'll let you know what I get from it. I'll show you presentation, price, longevity, who's it for, when to wear it, sort of like a review. So I taste, tested this, not tasted, tested it for some time and I'll show you the presentation. I think this comes in standard 100 ml. I don't know if they have a smaller bottle. This is how that box looks. Very neat, very neat presentation. It's like a straight line very proper oh one other thing you see this this is a nice little bracelet i got as a gift when i purchased this perfume i don't know if it's with all the purchase or just this particular fragrance but i got this from this house i don't know if it's called charm bracelet or what i really like it it's very beautiful check it out so you purchase this in bangladesh you get it i don't know if you get it in other countries okay so this comes in 90 ml which is an ugly thing okay i'll tell you i do not like ugly bottle sizes okay 90 ml why just add 10 more gucci does that once in a while do not like it uh, that's thing one that's one thing i did not like i did regatta and one other perfume these are also 90 ml kind of nice some writing there i'm not gonna bother ah uh, standard packaging 90 ml this concentration is let me check the concentration they're supposed to be uh, all written in uh French? Oh, no. This is EDT natural spray. Yeah, yeah. I think it's EDT. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Here's the bottle. Really nice looking bottle. Okay, the bottle, you gotta give it that. The bottle looks awesome. It's like kind of like a frosted cooling glass. Nice little F. It kind of looks like a uh, vintage style, old school style uh, presentation. And I think there's a like Faco Faconable. Yeah, Faconable, they have another fragrance that's original long time back. People reviewed that original uh, Faconable for men. That one people review, but this one I think is a more modern take on that. That's what my best guess. I didn't smell the original. That's what that looks. Juice color is mild green, yellowish, just like many other uh, soapy barbershop fragrances, Fougier perfumes does. Nice golden cap. Uh, cap has weight. Good weight to the cap. Sprayer is really good. Really nice little mist. And base, you'll see 90 ml. Very classy. Very, very classy. So I have it pre-sprayed on the paper for about half an hour. You can smell it, it's very strong. I, it reminds me of something, I'll let you know, and you'll find it interesting. Uh, let's go double spray. This one, price tag is very affordable. I think it's under $30 if you have a membership card. It's within $30, it's a budget perfume, okay? And this is actually for men. Does it say Purong? There's a Le Original, a French Riviera. Um, do this say for men? I'm sorry, I should have checked this earlier, you know. Uh, this one doesn't say anything else, but I, I'm guessing it's a, it's a men's release or uh, this kind of fragrance usually men wear it. So let me tell you, when I smell it first time, there's a, the notes are not on fragrance, this is not listed. This one has notes like uh, mandarin, peppermint, rosemary. Hard notes are lavender, geranium, nutmeg. Base notes are sandalwood, cedar, oak moss. I think I got this from base notes or some other... Uh, website where it's not fragrant ticker. so when i smelled it i did not like it at first let me tell you there's a fragrance from lacoste called booster this fragrance reminds me of that if you like lacoste booster you're gonna like this it this one remember like opens up with a peppermint you know it's like a peppermint mint not a bubblegummy sweetness mint it's a green mint and it's a very nature oak moss like a pakuraban excess you know that kind of mint like a forest like this one has that vibe uh, they mentioned rosemary, peppermint, and mandarin. I don't get much of mandarin from this, to be honest. I get the rosemary. I get that kind of like a mint, kind of like a medicinal sort of a mint, okay? And it's kind of like the mint you also take as a peppermint or like, a, you know, gum or mouth freshener. 
this one has that vibe it's kind of like a old school vibe and this one has a mature vibe it's a very masculine i would imagine 40 plus men would wear this okay definitely sorry definitely not a youthful fragrance in the opening at least it's kind of like a drakkar noir or jazz by ysl you know uh, it reminds me of that uh, fragrance from lacoste that booster also lacoste pour, like lacoste for men this one is bringing back those memories but right on it goes different direction that's where it's nice the hard nose this lavender geranium and nutmeg it's kind of like a spicy fougier barbershop vibe going on but not exactly barbershop it's like a green mo moist forest uh, oak moss sort of vibe and the base notes sandalwood cedar uh, those and oak moss but uh, very last dry down i'm getting some citrus at this moment uh, kind of like this uh, mint uh, leaf you know when you chew it when you chew it you get this kind of like authentic mint refreshing we put it in a lemonade it becomes very fresh instead of mandarin i'm getting some lemon and mint combination with some pepper but the dry down it goes a very beautiful direction which is a discontinued fragrance which i love a lot if you love that you should get it okay that's my personal suggestion give them a try you'll see carbon low intense this perfume it's officially gone okay i'm still having like 40 mil lucky to have this this is such a hidden gem very beautiful fragrance if you like daniel uh century this one has similarity to that got this nice sandalwood going on this one also has that so very clean fresh invigorating forest like vibe you will really enjoy this on a dry down if you can get used to the opening you will maybe enjoy the opening afterwards but i cannot assure you or guarantee you that everybody's not like it if you do not like mint you will not like the opening you if you do not like the opening you may not even be interested in the fragrance because the opening is the first introduction to a perfume but this fragrance is built for mature crowds okay this is what i'm going to tell you my frank opinion uh, this is not a fragrance people are going to run hey i'm going to get that i'm going to get late tonight i'm going to put some of this on perhaps not going to work for you perhaps you're going to have like hair chest uh, you know chest hair you're going to be like a musty smell that you have masculine women necessarily don't always fall for that they sometimes like dear savoir they give themselves like oh office for men <laughs> aventus and the great aventus you know holy grail this is something it's not in the same light to aventus so right now uh, this perfume it, it gives that sort of like a vibe where i can detect something like an ambergris okay i'm not saying this one has ambergris there's a sandalwood cedar and oak moss nothing mentioned but it reminds me vividly of uh creeds and other fragrance let me show you irolfa okay not the same not the same but the dry down they are both fresh you know this one has the sea breeze it's kind of like uh that ambergris heaven if you enjoy that style of perfume you'll also like this the best part of this fragrance if you do not like the smell you can gift it away or sell it off it's not a very expensive damage okay so in that way faconable offers some good fragrance the other two that i reviewed the blue juices are very safe decent longevity this one longevity is like three to four hours decent but for a fresh perfume if you like 1881 seruti you can try this okay so many fragrances reminds me of but officially this fragrance i think is for mature crowd i just want to review this i want to keep to create a content for mature crowd and this one it's kind of office friendly spring summer you can wear this winter time also you can wear it because of i think it has a heavy mint note you can wear it but on most part that lavender makes it like fougier at the heart so if you like that description give it a try this fragrance i would not score this like uh, crazy i'll give the like seven out of ten for the price it's all right but the 90 mil not a big fan the opening it's kind of like a uh 50 50 do you like it or do not like it up to you but dry down is very nice if you especially once again if you're actually looking for a substitute for this carbon low intense this is a hidden gem if you have never tried it good luck to you you will not find it now but that faconable le original can sort of like give you that feel so seven out of ten for that fragrance time is up reviews done let me go upload it thanks very much for watching please uh, leave a comment or a like you know subscribe subscribe if you like my content okay i'll see you soon good night from thaka bangladesh bye bye